I'm a dead chugga de ah Fine, fine, no back at the ah Watch your love for like it ah I know that I am for sure dressed like an 80s baby. But I needed to get this video done real quick. Y'all see me? I hope y'all can. Alright. Welcome back to my channel. Me time with Meek. I am Meek, of course. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been to my channel before, welcome back. I'm hoping that this video is posted by Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, it's actually Sunday, May 7th. Um, and I'm going to read this diary entry. Um, I'm hoping that at some point today, Sunday, like the real today, you guys will have gotten this week's vlog and I hope you all are enjoying that or have enjoyed that. Um, yeah, but like I said, as promised, these videos are going to be short and sweet, uh, right to the point. So let's get started. All right. So this journal entry is from May 6th, which was. Did I say today was the. Did I write this yesterday? Maybe I wrote it yesterday. Yeah, I did. I wrote it yesterday, uh, early in the morning. I wrote this uh, Friday, May 6th. Saturday, May 6th. Whatever. All right. And if y'all hear a lot of uh, noise in the back, it's because we are actually at our rental property, aka my dad's house. And um, they're cutting grass. Shay asked me to tag along. I don't have a I don't have a duty except for if she gets tired and then she needs me to take over like weed eating. Anyway, t too much information. May sixth. All right, so I'm gonna preface this by saying that this is um a little bit of a serious topic. I may have to expound upon it. Um more later but for right now this is just what i wrote when i was feeling it all right so i found out yesterday that my grandmother my mom's mother passed away she was 95. i'm thankful that my lineage seems to live um so long so to speak that's not why i'm here my gifts are so broad and ambiguous that i don't always catch the signs for example, left eye twitching equals a warning of, of some sort. Seeing shadow people or hearing your name being called with no one there. Wednesday, I had this eerie feeling like someone was sitting next to me all day. A few days before that, my grandmother popped into my brain randomly and I thought to myself, she's about to transition. I don't usually like to say things like that out loud because speaking things into existence, right? Two weeks ago, I text someone about a dream I had where I was lying down in a cemetery. Now that she has in fact passed, I put everything together and have concluded that it was in fact a premonition. I'm sad, yes, but not in the typical way. For number one, I didn't know her very well because of family issues and just outside of the diary I think I'm gonna plan to speak about that um, at some point I just have to get, gather my thoughts together and make sure that I'm putting the story together correctly as far as my recollection goes okay number two she was 95 and in my opinion that's a full life to live number three I'm starting to look at death differently like it's not the end for us life after life if you will however i will light a candle to help with her transition and if she comes to me when she comes to me 
she will have a place in my space love and light now i wanted to read the text message that i sent to someone a couple weeks ago um give me just a second And this person actually never responded to me, which is cool, but I sent this message April 27th for some context. I said, I know I text at the most random times, um, but the surgery has had us locked in for the most part. That was just given preface because um, our texts are usually pretty sporadic and random. Anyway, I had a dream right before I woke up. And child, we done moved on to the graveyard. Context, I have dreams about this particular person quite often. I would, I would dare to say probably like once a month, maybe. Um, and I said, and child, we done moved on to the graveyard. We were in a graveyard because you were helping, you were helping me with something. I said, now there were three of us, but I cannot for the life of me see the face of the third person. They were female though. And it was someone I know I just can't see her face right now. We were laying down flat out and you were either scrolling through pics on my phone or taking pics. Suddenly you said, oh Lord, here we go. When I asked what's up, you was like, y'all see her? At first I didn't see her, but the more you kept saying it, I end up seeing her. It was a spirit. She wasn't happy, but she wasn't dangerous. She was plump, kind of short, and had long hair. She was mad that we were there, and you asked why she was so angry. You asked something like, why are you so mad about this beautiful life? And she was like, this life isn't beautiful. I was taken so early. She was dressed in dark slash navy blue, or black dress with white polka dots. And I said, and I think that's all I remember. Nothing else popped up. So, of course, in this dream, right? Like, it's a dream. So, I can't say, oh, well, that was my grandma or whatever. Like, I don't know. And I'm not, I'm not someone who interprets dreams, which is why I have a dream diary. And I usually like to allow my dreams to play out. And um, I just write them down or I type them down or however so that I can put them together. Because sometimes dreams could take months or years to like actually put together. Not everything for me is direct. Um, and as my gifts have grown um, and, and changed, um, I'm learning that everything is... Not everything is a sign, but most things as it pertains to me are signs. So if if and when I feel like they are signs, if I get a feeling like something is a sign, then more than likely I'm pulling out my phone or I'm pulling out my diary or something. More than likely it's my phone because it's always with me. Um, and I'm, I'm jotting down X, Y, and Z experience. That way if something comes back, then... It's like, okay, I'm not, I'm not crazy. You know, there are a lot of people right now because you guys know, well, you might not know. If you don't know, I dream, I dream life and death. So, and the death part is something that just started happening to my knowledge in about, at about 2020, 2020. And, but my entire life, I've always dreamed life. Like I, I knew when somebody was pregnant, I, I would dream it and it will come true as of right now there's at least 10 people that i've dreamed about over the course of the past six months i'll say that i know for a fact that at some point will get pregnant have been pregnant or had or is pregnant right now and i haven't told everyone I, I just stopped doing it. Um, I, I chose to stop telling people that I dream. I If I tell you that I had a dream that you were pregnant, it's because you're special to me. And um, and if especially if it's something that I know that you really are looking forward to or are um, 
you know, manifesting or whatever, you're trying actively for it to happen and I care about you, I'm going to let you know like, hey, you're moving in the right direction or this is going to happen soon because I've had a dream about it. Um, and I also dream celebrations. Like I, I've dreamed, you know, someone closing on the house, I've new jobs, graduating college, whatever it is, I've dreamed it all. Do y'all need me? No. Okay. But. What you need, Tata? I'm doing a video. Oh. Anyway, but recently I started dreaming death and that was, you know, a little bit tougher for me, of course. I know it's just my gifts um, elevating or what have you, but it is it is a scary thing um, to dream death, you know, but um, I'm starting to, like I said in my journal, I'm starting to recognize it and 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 see death differently, if that makes sense. So that was my my dream again. Um, I don't really know how to interpret it always, which is why I just try to make notes of it. And I know that this is a little rambly, if you will, because, you know, she just passed away. But it was like, I knew it. When when I told Shay, I was just like, I knew she was, like, I knew she was about to pass. I, I felt it. Like, I literally felt it. And, um, I mean, I just, <laughs> I felt it. That's all I could say. I even told my dad when I called him to tell him, I was like, I knew she was, like, I knew she had passed. I knew. It was like, I knew. And when my aunt, when I saw my aunt's name pop up on the phone, I knew exactly what she was calling for. So, it was almost like, even though I'm I'm sad for personal reasons, which, again, I'll have to expound upon at a later time, I am not sad in the traditional sense. There was a sense of peace because it was like everything that had happened it, it came full circle and it was like, aha, like you, you were given the signs, you paid attention, you jotted things down, you logged things into your memory and you were not crazy. Like you knew, you knew. So I, I kind of feel like she came and sat with me for a day, you know, the day that she passed before she decided to move on. Um, a lot of things happened in that day, which are kind of cool. Like, um... I haven't seen my brother in a long time. I still didn't see him this day, but my dad sent me pictures of him. Um, who was my brother that we share the same mother, which therefore we share the same grandmother. This, you know, woman who passed away. So, you know, just a lot of things that I feel like were kind of like her just giving us her final farewell before she moved on. And like I said in my journal, if at any time... I'm going to give her her time to, you know, realize what it is that she has now transitioned into. And if she does decide that she wants to come back as one of my ancestors, I welcome her um, as long as she coming in love and light now. But um, I do welcome her in my space. So I think that is it, guys. I hope that the video made sense. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if... Um, I don't know if a lot of this would make sense to a lot of people like you would have to you would have to know to know <laughs> and um again this is like a this is like a part of my journey that I keep being pushed like yes you got to share this you got to share this so Maybe I'll start giving you guys some of my dream diary. But I, I, I don't know. The dream diary is the dream diary be dreaming. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll mix in a couple of dream diary in with my, you know, my daily diary or what have you. And we'll go from there. But that's it. I appreciate you all so much for um tuning in to another video. Um, I hope that you guys really enjoy it. If so, please leave me a like. Uh, leave me some comments down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and hit the subscription button and the post notification bell so you can be notified when I drop some more. This, this, this enlightening, spiritual, transparent, 
information. Um, anyway, I got to go get back to these kids and cutting this grass, help Shay out, and I'm going to holla at y'all later. Peace. Watch your love for looking up.